Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at the grades or gradebook in Moodle. Uh, so this can be a really uh, important place in your courses. It can also be a really challenging place because there's unfortunately we, we sometimes think there's only one way of setting up a gradebook but there's lots of different ways. So we're going to talk about some of that and look at some of the options here. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to go to do is go to grades. And once you are here, you're in the basic grader report area. Uh, so this is just a high level overview of what's going on in your course. You'll have your students here, their uh, contact information, their particular, their course total. And then <clears throat> as you move across, you can see the different grades for the different assignments. Real easy to kind of go in and look at things. Whenever you're ready to grade an item, you can always uh, select the item itself. So I might select here and it'll bring me into this particular actual assignment within the course. So it's really great. You can access a lot of different pieces of the course. <clears throat> you can see if things are submitted or not. Um, so it's a really great layout for kind of getting a sense of where things are at in the course. All right? Okay. So that's just the grade layout or the grade reporter. If you come up here to this drop down menu, and actually before I get to that, this is another really nice piece is if you have a lot of students and you really only want to focus on one, uh, maybe I want to just focus on that first student, I just can kind of play around with their first and last name and pull them up individually. Otherwise I can have them all set, both set to all and be able to see all students. All right, so if I go to Grade Reporter, I have a variety of different options here. We're not going to look at all of them. I just want to highlight a couple of them. Grade History gives you an account of all the changes that you've made in the gradebook. Uh, that can be really useful just to kind of get a sense of <clears throat> what's been done or if you need to change something. So you can very easily come in. You can actually select users. You can decide all users. So I'm just going to actually select both of these students. And then I, and you can set the grades from when to when, you can do revised grades only, all of that. Hit submit, and now this gives me a long list of all the feedback that I've given because this is my sandbox and I do lots of different things in it. So that's grade history. It's a nice quick way to get to if you've made any changes and you need to circle back to them uh, later on. These we're going to largely uh, skip over. We'll, we'll jump into overview report. And this can actually bring us to a particular student and take a look at that student. And if we have other classes with that student, we can actually jump in and see how they're doing. If there are classes that the student is in that we can't, uh, that, that we aren't teaching, we can't actually access. So it can be useful just to get a sense of where the student is at, how they're doing, and, and all of that. We also have single view, and this is exactly what it sounds like, where you identify uh, one of your assignments. And so again, we will select this random one, and it gives you each of the students. Uh, in this scenario, I, you know, this isn't where you would want to go to grade most things. You actually want to grade most things in the assignment or activity itself. Uh, and we'll take a look at this actually in, in a moment, but Notice if you try to grade in here, you're going to actually have to do override in order to insert those grades. So this is just if you want to take a quick look, get a sense of like how did students do across this course, or if you want to see how a particular student, either a particular assignment went, so that's where we were last time, we were just looking at, oh, here's how students did in this assignment, or you can look at a, a specific student across all their grades. So again, you can kind of get that individual, here's all the assignments that the student has done. <clears throat> Single view, pretty straightforward. User report, you actually can go in and look at individual users. It's very similar to the single view that we were just looking at. The one difference here is that it also very clearly shows us feedback. Uh, and I think that's important because again, it, it helps us. This is really what the student will see when they go to look at their grades is this listing. And so they'll have you know the, the assignment, uh, the grade, percentage, any feedback, etc. Also, all of these are clickable, so you can actually go into the activity itself. And while we're here, I actually do want to show that. So if you are going to, this is a discussion. Um, is it a discussion? Nope, it's an assessment. Uh, this, is an, this is a discussion. So if I want to grade this for students, I don't want to do this in the gradebook. I actually want to go to the discussion itself. 
And once I'm here, I'm going to select Grade Users right down here. So this is actually where, I, if I'm going to grade for the discussion, I'm going to grade for the discussion. And notice it gives me, you know, here would be all of the posts by the student. Over on the right here would be the grade, so I could put in the, nu the number if I chose. If I had a rubric, I could add a rubric. And if I do grade it, uh, I can put in the grade and I can select yes, so the student will get the notification. Uh, we can also do comments in here, but I hadn't included this as part of the assignment. So you would, get, you would provide a grade or a grading rubric and also feedback so that the student knows uh, or understands the score and has some clarity about what they did. All right, so that's just to, so you know where the grading feature is. Let's go back to our course and back to our grade book. As I said, you only you, you don't want to grade here. As I mentioned, if we are in Grade Reporter, you don't necessarily want to put grades in here or elsewhere. You really want to go to that assignment. <clears throat> All right, so that's the overview for the grade book and just kind of the different views that are in here. Uh, in another video, we're going to actually take a look at what it means to set up the grade book, and that will be coming up next. Uh, so I hope this video is helpful, and I hope the next one is as well. Thank you so much.